There's a tale as old as time when it comes to genetic inheritance. The story being that traits are determined by sequences of DNA called genes that have different types or alleles, and every person inherits one copy from each parent. If a parent has two different alleles, or is heterozygous, there is a 50% chance of inheriting either, but if a parent has two of the same alleles, or is homozygous, there is a 100% chance of inheriting that gene. You may think inheritance is a fair game, but some genes don't play by the rules. Selfish genetic elements, or SGEs, bias the odds of inheritance in their favour through a natural phenomenon known as gene drive. This process allows these genes to be inherited, even if they pass on disadvantageous traits. Basically, if Mario Kart is a game of inheritance, then each SGE has a specific power-up they can use throughout the game, essentially guaranteeing that they win. SGEs, known as homing endonuclease genes, work through a cut, copy, and paste mechanism to turn heterozygotes into homozygotes to increase their chance of being inherited. For decades, scientists have wondered about the potential of creating an endonuclease-based gene drive, and with the recent developments of CRISPR gene editing technology, this is now possible. CRISPR technology uses a programmable guide RNA, which serves as a GPS, and a pair of molecular scissors like the Cas9 enzyme. Together, these two will cut out a specific sequence of DNA. The cell can then repair the cut by either gluing the broken ends together or by replicating the gene using an appropriate template, which is the method required for an effective CRISPR gene drive. A CRISPR-based gene drive essentially works through a cut, copy, and paste procedure. First, scientists will insert a drive allele, which consists of an altered gene along with the code to make the Cas9 enzyme and the guide RNA. The Cas9 enzyme and the guide RNA are made from their genetic code and together they carry out the instructions to cut the matching DNA sequence on the partner chromosome. The cell can repair the cut by copying and pasting the drive allele. This method is known as homology-directed repair. Unlike the standard 50-50 pattern of inheritance with altered genes, this synthetic gene drive essentially makes the cell homozygous, thus guaranteeing that the drive allele will be passed on and that it will spread throughout the population. This technological breakthrough has the potential to modify, suppress, or even eradicate entire species, and its applications could range from targeting mosquitoes to eradicate malaria to protecting endangered species. But just because we have the power to alter entire species, should we? There are still a lot of unknowns about the potential implications on our ecosystems, methods of regulation, as well as the ethics of altering nature in this way. Public discussions around these issues need to be transparent, inclusive, and well-informed, so that whatever future we decide, to use or not to use this technology, you must take accountability for that choice and its consequences.